Just if I got this tools, yeah. Friends, David here. We've been teasing the shadow and mist that are about to sweep over the rift for some time now. And finally, finally, we get to lift the veil of fog and tell you about patch 5.1. A major change this year for Wild Rift is us doubling down on the rich lore of League of Legends. Mm. We hope to immerse you into the world of Runeterra from day one. And taking center stage this time around will be the mysterious Shadow Isles. We'll dive deeper into the happenings of Rune Nation, who its major players were, and explore some untold stories. Unlike our past patches, where each story was more of a one-shot, this time we expect each event to build from one to the next. And outside of events and stories, you will also explore new gameplay changes, and decked out in misty themes, and soak up amazing Shadow Isles content. So to help shed some light through this. Ah, e olha, eu tenho várias coisas que tem nesse cenário. Eu tenho stretch. Eu tenho isso aqui. Eu tenho isso aqui. Eu tenho isso aqui. Eu tenho várias coisas. Ah, eu não tenho essa boneca aqui não, nem isso. Queria. Shadow e fog. We invite a Paul. Eu tenho que começar a ler esse livro da ruína. Patch 5.1. Beyond Rune Nation. Thanks, David. I'm Paul, director of creative game production for League Studio. I want to tell you a bit more about how we incorporated the League of Legends Ruination story into this upcoming patch. The Ruination is a pivotal moment in the history of Runeterra and explains the origins of many beloved League of Legends. Ah, é meu marcante mesmo, viu? We've been working on many different ways to merge our rich lore into the game. Over the next couple of weeks. We will learn about the mysterious Blessed Isles and the thrilling, tragic, and potential fates of many champions during the Ruination Saga. The patch will follow three acts, each triggered by the release of a new champion. Starting us off is the once proud and noble Camaboran general, Callista, now known as the Spear of Vengeance. But how did she get there? What role did she play in the downfall of the Blessed Isles, and could she have changed its fate? Well. That's for you all to discover as Callista joins the rift. Leading the second charge is Eita. Diego, the ruined king. Our brooding and brutal monarch is ready to extend his reign onto the rift. Find success on the battlefield using Diego's powers of the Black Mist to close in on enemies and possess those who dare to cross your path. And maybe by the end of the event, you will come to understand our heartbroken ruler better. Ah, e o coração partido, uma pena. Patch is the twisted treant Maokai. Maokai's background has always proven ah, ele tá tão a bonitinho. And we want to use the final phase of the patch to add some color to our trans quest towards restoring the Blessed Isles. But our new champs aren't the only ones haunting the rift. Step onto the Wild Rift app and you will embark on the same journey that Kalissa is on during her quest. We have restyled the in-app atmosphere system to transport you right onto the Daggerhawk sailing towards the Blessed Isles. And this theme, well, it follows through even in game, where the mist of the Shadow Isles will be creeping through the lanes. Mm. Now, this is also more than just ambiance, as the shadows have impacted the game itself. During this patch, items will be categorized into Radiant and Shadow. Radiant items will focus on protection or utility, such as Horizon Focus, while Shadow items will be riskier to play, but they might have a bigger payoff, just like Infinity Edge. These item changes will affect all game modes. So pop into the shop during your next match and make your choice. For more detailed info, please tune in into our patch. Meu Deus, a perereca. Summoner's Rift isn't the only place where we have dialed up the mist. For Act 1, we are introducing a new wave defense game mode, Final Stand. Your first foray into the mode will be alongside Callista. Nossa, mano, esse design da Callista. Final Stand. Com esse, esse traço, tá parecendo o traço do jogo do Ruined King mesmo. Eu acho que foi os caras lá que fizeram. Tenho certeza absoluta. Porque tá igualzinho. Your first foray into the mode will be alongside Callista, where you'll be fighting for her life in a recreation of one of her most infamous battles. Isso aqui so muito me interessa. They'll help you to learn more about Commander Callista from the battlefield. But we want to use this patch to show you that she is so much more than just a great warrior. Across the three acts, you will collect and unlock stories in different visual formats, let you learn even more about her backstory and see her from a fresh lens. Log on to the events across her backstory and see her from a fresh lens. Olha a Soraka, meu Deus, quem é aquela furry? 
log on to the events across the patch and earn your story bits. And once you unlock them, they will be stored in your library forever to be rewatched at your leisure. There are more new and exciting things headed your way. And to get a rundown of the gameplay updates, let's hand it to our product lead, John. É, o modo PvE muito me interessa. Thanks, David. Oh, hey, friends, John here. Our favorite gunslinger, Miss Fortune, will be getting a new passive that makes it easier for her to double tap her enemies. Her passive will now post stacks on her targets while she's dealing damage and collect the stacks. Já não é fácil de acertar isso. Where the bonus damage Ai, meu Deus, Wonder. Já não é fácil acertar isso. Eles vão like to show off. We fix standard Riven's ultimate. Eles vão resetar, né? Make that kill really worth it. A ult da Riven vai resetar. Plus, making Rutera's greatest weapons master even more lethal. Mas a gente não acabou de ver que esse boneco é broken. Jack's ultimate will now deal AOE damage immediately. Mano, vai dar. And gain armor and magic resistance based on the number of enemies hit. And lastly, Master E is always looking to shop. Não, esse boneco a gente pode pode esquecer desse boneco. Esse boneco é ruim da season one. His mind and his body. To assist him, we are upgrading meditate to allow E to combine the ability with attacks, so he can strike, meditate, ah, isso tem no and strike. Ah, isso tem no PC, né? The Paralyn can be lonely and treacherous, so we've decided to offer you a friend for the journey. The Alcove will now come with a magic circle where you can summon an Ixto Moss Tomper to help you in whatever your endeavors might be. They will also deal extra damage to turrets. Meu Deus, o Skarner! É o filho do Skarner? We can't wait to see the strategies you come up with for you and your best friend. As always, a new patch also brings in new seasons for Ranked and Wild Pass. Ranked Season 13 will start mid-April with a snazzy prompt. Hmm. Não sei. Eu achei feia, mas eu quero achar bonita. Skin as a reward. The new Wild Pass will say to hunger for more food spirits. Eu sei que coisa horrível. With fizz and make your battles even harder with infernal shit. Muito fofo, fizz. This. O fizz tá fofinho. This patch is all about the Shadow Isles with plenty of events, pulling you even deeper into the lore of. Tipo assim, a skin do Brown não tá feia. As always, a new patch also brings in new seasons for ranked and wild pass. Tipo, essa skin do Brown, ela não tá feia. Eu só acho que ela parece monocromática. Parece que ela é da mesma cor, o corpo inteiro do boneco. Eu acho que poderia ser melhor. Ela não tá feia, mas ela não tá legal. Tipo, parece que ela não, não sei, parece que falta. Falta alguma coisa nessa skin. Isso aqui é estranho. Não, isso aqui é estranho. Essas skins de comida que tem no Advish é muito esquisita. Eu acho essas skins esquisitíssimas. Ah, eu acho muito estranhas. Essa skin tem no low PC, né? Essa skin é legal, mas... This patch is all about the Shadow Isles with plenty of events, pulling you even deeper into the lore of Calista and Viego. Mm. But like always, there will be plenty of events surrounding other happenings. Ah, e essa, esse cardzinho ficou muito lindo. Such as Pride. Like every year, we want to celebrate every shade of the Wild Rift community. Ficou lindo a, o card. To finish off this magically messy patch on the high, let's take a look at all our new skins. Train your penmanship, refine your art skill, or duke it out. In ah, e as skins que a Riot fez inspirado no Splatoon, né? In the tournament of souls, wherever your talents take you. Essa skin do Lucien é absurda. Essa skin do Lucien é foda. E provavelmente vai custar, sei lá, mil reais nesse jogo. Essa skin do vôlei é da hora, mas ficou meio que o vôlei vôlei, né? Essa skin do Sasha é bonitinha também. Ah, essa skin da Calma é lindíssima. Perfeita. Ah, eu amo essa skin do Trash. Eu amo essa skin do Trash. 
Ai, essa aqui é perfeita. É uma pena que não tem croma, porque tem cromas mais bonitos. Mas essa aqui é linda. Eu amo essa skin do Trash, hein? Isso é a Kalista? Eu achei que era a Samira. Meu Deus, não... Nossa, eu achei que era Samira. Ficou bonita a skin. Ah, ficou bonita. Ai, meu Deus, a skin da Samira lá, né? A skin do Jin, né? Nossa, a skin do Jin, a arma tá horrorosa. Mulher, a arma é assim no LOL PC? A arma dessa skin é assim no LOL PC? Parece ser, eu já não acho essa skin muito boa no LOL PC. Gente, que coisa horrível! Que coisa feia! Olha a pistola dele, que coisa horrorosa. A máscara dele é linda. A máscara dele é muito bonita nessa skin. Mas a arma dele é horrorosa. Eu amo essa, a boquinha dele nessa máscara, a boquinha pequenininha dele. A roupa dele é legal, mas a arma é muito feia. Ah, essa skin dela é linda. Essa skin dela é muito linda. Muito linda. Ela é muito linda. Caralho, que da hora essa skin do Viego. Caralho, ele chefão. Caralho, da hora essa skin do Viego. Ou oh, a armadura dele ficou muito bonita. Gostei dessa skin. Essa skin foi legal. Ah, o Ekarim Fliperama, né? Ai! Ah, é a skin Splatoon lá, né? O Cork. Meu Deus, o Cork tá parecendo um Robotnik. É, mais ou menos, né? Ah, do Gragas ficou legal. Ai, mas outra 41 primeira skin da Zeri. É, ficou bonitinha. Isso é a Irelia? Ah, é a Kale. Ah, é as asas, né, sogra? Sim. É bonita. Seu Zed? Bonita, Shivana. Só não queria que ela tivesse essa pele humana, mas bonita, Shivana. O Talon, né? Hum. A melhor skin do jogo, né? E a carinha dele? A carinha dele, ó. Isso aqui é uma batatinha. Well, that's it for patch 5.1 Beyond Ruination. We can't wait for y'all to experience this new era of thematic patches for Wild Rift, and we look forward to hearing your feedback. As the patch moves forward, please look to our patch notes for more details. Thank you so much for supporting Wild Rift. Please share your high scores on Final Stand. And as always, see you on the Rift. Tem que agradecer mesmo, viu, amiga? Porque um skin custando mil reais tá complicado.